Jonathan Safran 4, We Are the Weather, Saving the Planet Begins at Breakfast. In We Are the Weather, Saving the Planet Begins at Breakfast, Jonathan Safran 4 delves into the complexities of climate change and how difficult it can be for human beings to fully comprehend its vastness and consequences. For argues that our ability to engage with climate change is determined by how we relate to the past and future, as well as the misinformation that is often fed to us. This book summary highlights the impact of industrial animal farming on the environment, and reveals how individuals can make a difference by reducing their consumption of meat and animal products. The Vague Story of Climate Change the fight against climate change is an abstract and complex story that lacks the hero-villain narrative present in major movements throughout history. The absence of a clear timeline and specific victims makes it difficult for people to emotionally invest in the cause. The enormity of the statistics and predictions surrounding climate change leaves many feeling overwhelmed, similar to people's reactions to the Holocaust during World War II. Despite the challenges in comprehending climate change, we must find ways to engage with it rationally if we hope to address this global crisis. Climate change, why we struggle to respond. When faced with immediate danger, humans are wired to react. However, when it comes to abstract and future threats like climate change, we struggle to respond. This is due to our evolutionary design to deal with immediate threats. Experiments show that humans find it challenging to visualize the future. To respond to climate change, we need to develop the ability to project ourselves into the future and understand the consequences of our actions. Moreover, we have adapted to change so well that we tend to overlook the severity of the current global changes. To tackle climate change effectively, we need to develop a new set of skills. Fighting climate change, understanding the misinformation and effective actions. The fight against climate change can be confusing with a lot of misinformation. Major oil and gas companies have minimized the risks of global warming and created disinformation campaigns. While fossil fuels are harmful, focusing on them exclusively doesn't give the complete picture. Agriculture contributes almost as much to greenhouse gas emissions as fossil fuels and industrial animal farming is the main culprit. However, Environmental campaigns have paid very little attention to this issue. Activists fear that suggesting people eat less meat will alienate them from the environmental movement. But it's one of the easiest and most important things people can do to combat climate change. Rather than engaging in activities such as using hybrid cars and eating organic food which has a negligible impact on the environment, cutting down on the consumption of animal products can make a significant impact. It's important to critically analyze the information we receive and take actions that will make a difference. Tackling climate change, the power of individual action. Climate change can seem like an insurmountable challenge, but individual action can have a significant impact in changing corporate behavior. The author argues that while top-down policy changes are necessary, grassroots activism can also influence corporations. The success of Google employees in confronting sexual abuse allegations, and the eradication of polio through a combination of government funding and individual action are cited as examples. The author emphasizes the importance of both bottom-up and top-down activism in fighting climate change. The Environmental Cost of Animal Farming It is common knowledge that animal farming is a source of food, but it is not widely known that it is also a significant emitter of greenhouse gases. With factory farming's introduction, the number of animals per farm has significantly increased, leading to negative environmental outcomes. The environmental impact of animal farming extends beyond greenhouse gas emissions. The land required for grazing and animal feed production has led to deforestation and, consequently, a reduction of forest sequestration effects. Livestock's digestive process produces methane, a greenhouse gas that is 34 times more potent than carbon dioxide. Nitrous oxide, released in the animal's urine and manure, traps 310 times more heat in the atmosphere than carbon dioxide. It is essential to reduce the environmental impact of animal farming to combat climate change. Eat less meat, 
save the planet. The environmental impact of animal farming is alarming, but eating less meat and fewer animal products is one of the fastest ways to fight climate change. While ending our reliance on fossil fuels is important, reducing meat and dairy consumption can be done immediately. Critics argue that vegan foods can be more expensive, but eating animals is actually a luxury that few can afford. Animal agriculture requires large amounts of grain and water, resources that could be used to feed starving people and provide clean water. Even though most people value meat in their diets, allowing room for meat at dinner can make it easier to maintain the habit of eating less meat in general. In fact, those who stop eating meat and animal products at breakfast and lunch have a smaller carbon footprint than those on the average vegetarian diet. Our debt to the earth. The planet's resources are finite and we have been consuming them at an unsustainable rate, leading to runaway climate change. This has far-reaching consequences, including devastating natural disasters. To address this issue, we must take ethical responsibility and act immediately to mitigate the damage. Planet Earth may seem like an unlimited source of resources, but that is far from the truth. Humans have been exploiting the planet's resources since the 1980s at an unsustainable rate that the Earth simply cannot keep up with. As a result, we are running up a massive debt to the Earth that we can never repay. Strip mining the Earth's resources, including its forests, has led to the depletion of vital carbon sinks that absorb greenhouse gases, contributing to global warming. This has put us in a dire situation, which climate scientists call runaway climate change. As we continue to produce more greenhouse gases, positive feedback loops amplify the damage we have caused in ways that we cannot control. For instance, the melting of polar sea ice exposes larger areas of dark sea. Since dark sea absorbs heat while ice is reflective, the more ice melts, the hotter the earth becomes, creating a vicious cycle that we cannot undo. Devastating natural disasters, such as hurricanes, heat waves, and flooding, are already becoming more frequent. However, the effects of climate change are expected to worsen significantly, causing even more damage to our planet and affecting our daily lives. Although starting anew on Mars may seem appealing, there is only one ethical choice to make, fighting climate change here on Earth. We have an ethical obligation to future generations and to the poorest populations who are and will continue to be disproportionately affected by the results of climate change. Humans have the ability to make rational decisions based on ethical considerations rather than just our feelings. We will be judged based on the actions we take. In conclusion, we must recognize our debt to the earth and take immediate and tangible steps to mitigate the damage caused by human activities. The future of our planet depends on the choices we make today. The message of We Are The Weather is clear, individuals play a crucial role in fighting climate change, and one of the most immediate and effective actions we can take is altering our dietary habits. By consuming less meat and animal products, we can reduce the environmental impact of industrial farming and shift towards a more sustainable future. While tackling climate change may require both bottom-up activism and top-down policy changes, for emphasizes that we possess the power to make a difference through our personal choices. In the end, our ethical obligation to future generations and the planet hinges on the actions we take today.